Calgary couple Rod and Jennifer O'Brien are breaking their silence months after the suspected murder of their five-year-old son and his grandparents. Nathan O'Brien disappeared back in June, and now the O'Briens have found a way to honor his memory. Devin Haru has that story. We've been treading water in a tsunami. It's taken months for Rod and Jennifer O'Brien to get to this point, talking publicly about their profound loss. And we're now just crawling back up on that beach and looking behind us and figuring out, okay, well, we have to figure things out here and put this family back together. On June 30th, Jennifer O'Brien went to pick up their five-year-old son, Nathan, at her parents' house, but nobody was there. Not Nathan or her parents, Elvin and Kathy Lickness. Immediately, police suspected foul play and began an intense search. For weeks, the agonizing wait played out until in mid-July, police announced they'd laid murder charges against the suspect. The bodies have never been found. But I have no, no doubt in my mind that my mom and dad did everything in their power for Nathan, and I have no doubt in my mind that they're all together as a family. All along, the O'Briens received messages of support from across the country, civilian-led searches, trust funds, and charity events, and a balloon release in honor of Nathan. We would love to give him hugs and just tell him thank you, know, thank you to each and every one out there because they were searching for our family during the most difficult time. So many thoughts went through their minds until they decided to create the Nathan O'Brien Children's Foundation, granting money to charities in Calgary. We actually now get to do an exchange for grief and replace it with hope mm -hmm. from here on in, forever and ever. And we get to work with Nathan's spirit and under Nathan's name to help the less fortunate as a family. Their story even touched an anonymous benefactor in the United States who gave their foundation $1 million. Rod and Jen only had five short years with their son, but now see a chance to keep his legacy alive. It's your family. It's your family. It's your kids. It's not materialistic things. Now they're passing on those lessons to their other two sons as they struggle to reimagine their life without Nathan. Devin Haru, CBC News, Calgary.